enough for all of you guys to have one, but I want you to pass them around, okay? So we don't need to fight over which one, who gets what map, okay? Or who gets what picture. And I just want you guys to look at them, okay? And talk about them with your group. What you think is cool. That's okay. We'll make sure everyone gets one. Okay, so make sure you guys are sharing and you're just looking at them. And you're talking with your group about the different things that are on them. You guys don't need a pencil right now. No one should be writing on the map. Yes, ma'am. Oh, she doesn't. Well, that's okay. We can look together. And then we're just going to pass them around. Okay? So once you look at it, give it to someone new. You're just going to look at all the different things on it. Well, just keep looking. Keep looking at it. Keep talking with your group about the different things on them.
sharing them. Slide. A slide. I want to hear some parts of a map that you have to have. Samantha. Um, the way that the road that you go follows the straight path. The roads? I don't see the road. Well, some of them have them, some of them don't. It's okay. Skylar, what is a part of the map that you have to have? A map key. A map key. That's awesome. Great answer. A map key. Someone else tell me something. Alexis, what else? Speak really loud so I can hear you all the way back here. What's another part of the map that you see?
shape could you draw for a slide? Anaya. Um, a, straight line. a straight line. Okay. You could do a straight line. Give me another shape. Uh, Haley. Um, this. Like a bumpy. A bumpy what? A bumpy slide. A bumpy slide, so a bumpy line. I want a shape though. Carly. Triangle. A triangle. We can draw a triangle for a slide. You know what else we can draw for a slide? Here, Player. let me move this over a little bit so you guys can see it better from your seats. to you guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's up? Another piece of equipment we have on the playground. Lonnie. A merry-go-round. A merry-go-round. And what shape could we draw for that? A circle. Let's see who's raising their hand. Hmm. Frankie. Circle. A circle. That's a great shape. Circle. And can I show you guys my picture that I would draw for it? Yeah. It's kind of like a circle. Some little humps in it. Does that look like a merry-go-round? Yeah. Yeah. What is another piece of playground equipment we have? Madison. The seesaw thing. The what? The seesaw? Is that what you're talking about? Seesaw. And what shape could we draw for that? Levi. What's a good shape? What kind of shape does that make? Triangle. A triangle. Well, we already have a triangle for the slide, so we probably should pick a different shape, so we don't get those confused. Can you pick a different shape for me? A straight line down. Hmm. How about a shape? What, what kind of shape has a straight line? Two that are the same, and then two different lines that are the same. A what? Levi. Square. A square? But what if I want two different um, size lines? It's kind of like a square, but it's a rectangle. A rectangle. Let's do that, because a seesaw kind of looks like a rectangle, right? And this is how I would draw it. Does that look like a seesaw? Yeah. Okay, what else, What other piece of equipment? Yeah, isn't that cool? You guys can draw that, can't you? Yeah. Haley, what's another piece of equipment? A swing. A swing. And what, what uh, shape can we draw for a swing? Uh, Who can, Jolene? A line down. A line down. Well, we have a lot of lines down, but then we're going to get confused because they all look the same. 
Frankie. I lying down and then you go um and I'm laying down and you go like up. So you're talking about like your shape like this? U. Is that what you're talking about? Like making a U. Mm -hmm. Like making a U, so kind of like this? Yeah. Okay. But no top? I'm going to show you what I would draw. Can I show, are you guys ready? That looks like a swing, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright, and what is another thing we have on the playground? Look at it. A tree. You knew exactly what I was thinking about. Yeah. I know how I learned. What kind of symbol can we draw for a tree? Uh, uh, Shane, what kind of symbol can we draw for a tree? Uh, a line up and circle. Perfect. That's exactly what I was thinking. A line up and a circle. Right? Or you could draw this kind of tree. Yeah, do you hear the rain? That's why we. You think we're gonna go out on the playground today? No. no. Okay. What's it? Do we have any more equipment? Yeah. Haley. You did. Oh. Skylar, what's another piece? The track. That is. We did the track. We haven't done the track yet. We have a slide, a merry-go-round, a seesaw, a swing, and a tree. Or the. Or the fence. The fence. The fence. Or the. Now, what have you? What shape have you guys? Or what? What symbol have you guys been saying that would go with the fence, Rodney? A line. A line. A diamond. Just a line, right? Or you can make the line this way, right? Just depending on which direction the fence or is going. Or you could like do make an eight, or you could do um um a um like that the 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 merry go round. So like, just put some lines on there like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could do that. Okay, um, and I'm going to tell you guys, that I started the fence for you. So you knew which direction we were going to look at the playground. And I put a little door in it. So the little door is going to look like this. That is the entrance that you guys go in. So whenever I give you your big map that you're going to draw, I started that for you so you guys would all be drawn from the same spot. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, and then what was the last thing we said? Frankie. Huh? No. Fence. Fence. The fence? We have the fence. What's uh, another uh, thing? Tire chips. The, the what? The, the tire chips. The tire chips? You could draw those, but track. you could draw those what track. color? Black. 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 The, the track. track. That's right. The track could be a square. Or it can be a circle. Well, what shape is this track it out here? Lonnie, what, what oh. shape did you say? Because that was a really good idea. Circle. A circle. So it's kind of like a bumpy circle, right? That is a circle. So it's kind of like that, like, you know, you can do that a different color, right? Because that would just be a line, because it's just a track, right? Uh -huh. yeah. That was a good thought. Okay. Or you can do a diamond. So the first thing we're going to do, you guys get to work and... Pairs today. Okay? And pairs. What does pairs mean? Does anyone know what pairs mean? Robbie, what does that mean? That means like you build stuff in a pair. And pairs. And pairs means partners. Are you guys excited to work with partners? Yeah! Okay, so remember, when we work with partners, we have to be really good. We need to use our knuckles. We can use our crayons. Frankie, what does it mean to work in pairs? That means we work together. Work together with how many people? Two. 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 So just two people are working together. Okay? I'm going to put you guys in pairs when we go back to our seats. But I just wanted to tell you guys while you're all sitting here and being really good, that when we work in pairs, we have to make sure that we're just working on this assignment. Okay? That we're not talking about what we're doing this weekend or what we did yesterday. Okay? We're just talking about our maps. Yeah, so I'm going to kind of show you guys what I have for you to do. Because we're going to do this map a little different. Oh, gosh. Okay. We have post-it notes. You guys don't usually get to use these, do you? Oh, no, no, but I used to do it. So I have, I have four little post-it notes and one big post-it note. What do you think these are for? Oh, Haley. Yeah. Quiet. Um, draw the pictures in there and the That's the perfect 
perfect idea. That's exactly what we're doing. And Jolene, you look pretty excited. So why do you think they're different shapes? Why do you think there's four of these and one bigger one? Because the bigger one could be for the, the big one. What's the big one on that board? The track. It is the track, but do you think you could draw the track without using a post-it? Because that would be a lot of post-its, putting it all around here. The gate? Seesaw, seesaw. Do you think the seesaw is bigger than the slide, the merry-go-round, the swing, or the tree? Tree. What's the biggest thing on that playground, tree. Carly? Tree. The tree. So remember, when we draw maps, we have to think about how big these things are. Like when you drew a map of your bedroom, you probably didn't draw a clock as big as your bed. <laughs> right? Because that would be way too big. I have one. Right, so I'm going to show you guys how I want you to do this, okay? So you can either pick to draw the symbols that I that were my idea, or you can choose to draw the symbols that were your idea. Okay, either one. You both are right. But the, how do you tell which uh, what the symbol means? Where do you put that? Skylar. On the map key. So make sure that if you choose to draw just the shapes, that that's all you draw. Caitlin, what, do you, what are you going to choose to draw? Which kind of symbols? Are you going to choose to draw the shapes or the, the other symbols? Stand up and point to me which symbols you're, you want to draw. Which side of the symbols you want to draw. Do you want to draw the more detailed ones or do you just want to draw the shapes? The shapes. The shapes. And that's a great idea. Because that could help you make, it might make more sense to you just to draw the shapes. Okay? So I'm going to say what Caitlin did, and I'm just going to draw the shapes. So which which uh, playground equipment should I draw first? Oh, slide. Mm -hmm. Charleston. Um, the, the merry-go-round. The merry-go-round. Okay, so the merry-go-round was a circle, so I'm going to draw a circle. And then about, if this is where I walk in to the playground right here. So if you guys are just walking in, where would the merry-go-round go? Probably like right here? Yes. Yeah. You think? No. That's about right? No. Yes. Scoot it over. Yes. Scoot it over which way? Over here? No. Over here? No. Oh, okay. No. So I, well, Jolene, where do you think it goes? It should go right in the middle by the gate. By the swings where the swings will go. Well, if it goes where the swings are going, that means they're on top of it. Right here? Yeah. Okay. That works too. And okay. The swings can go upside down. And the swings can go upside down. So do you know why we're doing these on post-its? Yeah. Carlson? <laughs> well, they might not, but it's so that way, just like what we just did, I put it down right here, but then Jolene says, oh no, it needs to be moved down a little bit. And some people say, no, it needs to be moved up a little bit, so you guys can move them. So this is our first draft, draft of our map, okay? So I want everyone to tiptoe back to their seats as quietly as they can. Please.
and the map title wherever you think it fits the best. Hey guys, can I have your attention for just a second? I'm going to set a timer on this board, and that's whenever you guys should be done putting your post down, okay? Okay. Yeah. 
Drawing these pictures? Do you think these two pictures look the same? What did the circle stand for? The merry-go-round. And that looks like a merry-go-round too, right? But remember, the map key has to match what's on the map. Okay? So I don't have to fix that so it matches the map. Are you guys done? Okay. I want you guys to talk about it for the next minute, okay? Do you guys have all the parts? You gotta talk about it. Do you need more notes? Hey guys, I want you to look at what's circled and orange on the board and check to make sure you have that. That's map key. What's circled and orange on the board? words map title. What is the map title? What is the map title? Playground. What are you guys working on over here? The playground? What part of the playground are you working on? What part of the map? Is that your track? Or is that your track? Nice. I like that you drew the track too. And this is about where everything is, isn't it? Yeah. But look at how this tree is smaller than these pieces of playground equipment. When you wait, you don't have to take that off. When you draw your map, on when you actually draw it on here, are you going to make that bigger than the pieces of playground equipment or smaller? Bigger. So make sure you remember that. How are you guys doing? Good job, 
About the map key? All right, Frankie, something you didn't already know, because we've already talked about maps before, right? Something you didn't already know that made, made sense today. Frankie. The compass, Rose? Okay. Anaya. The maps are important. And why are they important? Tell me why. Because they show you where to go. Because they show you where to go. Good job. Haley, what's something you learned that you didn't already know? You want to pick on someone else to tell me something they have to pick on someone. Who has their hand up? You got three people. All right, Autumn. You forgot about the map title until we did it today? Good. Carly, there's something you learned. Oh, I learned to ride the map key. Good. Okay, guys, we kind of ran out of time to finish our maps totally, but that's okay. We got to go to resource. Yeah.